Oh, wait, I got to go fix my hair. Girl, please. You look amazing. You're, you're fine. You're, you're great. I don't know. I don't know which face is this going to record because I'm actually on my phone. So, um, so if you're... Face isn't in the video. It's okay. Um, it might, it might, we'll see. We'll see. So, um, so we, Devin and I want to say welcome to this first call. We are super excited to roll out this content for all of you to really, you know, give you a clear path with specific action items and a lot of what I like to call soul work because take care of ourselves first when we dig into that belief system and let that drive what we do then the goals are so much more achievable attainable and um, you know we just give ourselves permission to shine and that's what this is all about it's giving you permission to shine showing you the way and and leading you while holding your hand every single step of the way you know Devin and I say it all the time you know we want you to be better than we are we want you to achieve your goals fast than we did but we're just going to pour into you and give you that content and, and give you that skill set so that you can you know pick it up and freaking just run with it okay so i'm going to start with some belief work and then when i'm finished with that i'm going to pass off the baton to Devin, and she's going to give you some training some really valuable training and some action items for you to do okay, okay now so, yes can we have everybody introduce themselves real quick too? Sure. Cause I think I know that a lot of people on my team. Um, yeah. Is that cool? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Absolutely. So real quick, I'm Melanie Yoakum. If you don't know me, I'm a mom of two, 39 years old. I've been coaching for two years, just walked away from my teaching job. And this opportunity has absolutely changed my life from the inside out. And I can't share that enough. So that's me. Do you want me to go next? Sure. sure. <laughs> I'm Shonda Hall and I've just started coaching. This is my very first, first month. I am a recovering fibromyalgia sufferer and every single day my life is literally amazingly better. I am a mother of three. I have a wonderful husband and I cannot express you how much better my life is better. I'm, it's just today I have zero pain. And I told my husband after eight years, no pain. I just cannot tell you pain every single day in my hands and my shoulders and my legs every single part of my body and today to wake up and I go to work and take care of my kids and I come home and no pain not one pain. I can go like this I can go like this and there's no pain and I mean go away Elijah and no pain and it's just amazing it's just such a blessing to just wake up with no pain so anyways awesome. yeah. i'm just i'm just so happy <laughs> and i do not and i will not go backwards so. yes ma'am um amber you want to go <laughs> hey yeah sure um my name is amber kirchie and this is my very first um video tap in at all I've been coaching under Devin probably a couple years, but I'm finally at that point where I'm ready to kind of take it to the next step. So I'm excited. This is kind of my intro to the whole journey of how, you know, making this my passion. Um, and I'm just looking forward to learning from you ladies and kind of seeing, you know, what the ropes are and being inspired and encouraged by you guys. So thanks awesome. for having me. Awesome. So happy to have you. Lisa, you want to go next? Hey, I'm in my kitchen and there's noise in the background. That's why it's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess since I did coach basics, I don't know, recently, mm -hmm. last, within the last 60 days, like that's changed my life. Um, also going to a transformational workshop changed my life. And that's why I'm, I'm here today to, um, continue that momentum. Um, I want financial freedom, ultimately. <laughs> Don't want to be working anymore. I want to retire, like, soon. So, 
that's kind of my why I want to retire in Maui. And yeah, I'm, that's, that's me. I'm doing it. Awesome. <laughs> so. Nicole, your girl. Um, oh, I see Mary's on. I know she's at work. Um, Mary works nights in, in Manhattan, so she's sneaking a phone call, it looks like, to us from her desk. So I'm not going to... Mary, can you talk? Can you introduce yourself? Thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> I think that's... Okay, that's probably a no. Okay, Kristen, <laughs> do you want to go? <laughs> sure. Hey guys, I'm Kristen Otis. Um, I am a relatively new coach. I started coaching in... I think mid-August was when I signed up. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a couple months in and I'm loving it. I'm loving the transformation within myself. That has been like the biggest thing for me. Um, you know, I'm very excited about building my team and um, yeah, and I have two kids. I'm 34. Um, I don't know what else to say. So that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Trisha, do you want to go? Sure, I'll go next. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm Trisha Ferris. I'm 36. I'm a dental hygienist. I'm a mom to one little girl that's five and a half. Um, my husband's a state trooper, so that keeps life very interesting. And um, I guess I signed up to be a coach about the same time as Kristen. I think we started about the same time. Um, so we're kind of on this journey together. I'm, I'm watching Kristen closely. <laughs> and that's me that's it that's all I got <laughs> awesome Vicki okay so if you see Vicki you can you can see that she's kind of dark on our me? screen yes look at the road girl look at us <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys great <laughs> okay go ahead Vicki okay so I'm Vicki and I'm 53 years old and I only got in this um, because Corey inspired me so much I had a lot of health issues and I'm very overweight and um, my job doesn't help because I'm a truck driver. So I sit for, you know, 10 to 12 hours a day. So, and I'm driving right now, which is crazy that I'm doing this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was only, I only became a coach to get the discount. I absolutely had no idea that this program is structured the way it is. And I really still have not figured it all out or how you make money, but I absolutely could use the money. So um, I'm really interested in this. And um, I have a lot of improved health since I started this. So, you know, I, I can't wait to see where the journey leads. Mm -hmm. Hopefully 100 pounds lighter next summer. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So hey, is there a coach... Coach Basics about to start coaching basics. It start. It actually started on the second. What's today? The tenth. Okay. Yeah. I was just thinking Vicky should go into that. She could probably jump in if you wanted to catch up, Vicky. It's okay. Up to you. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. Because okay. that's how you learn how to make money and stuff like that. They give you. They just give you all that information. It's just mm -hmm. like every day. It's just like a font of information, so you know what you're doing and how it works. Okay. Yeah. Awesome idea. Okay, so I'll introduce myself. Most of you already know me. My name is Devin Wheaton, and I am, um, gosh, I've been on this journey for three years, but I haven't actually, I haven't really been passionate about coaching. Um, it took me about six months to really kind of when things started clicking for me and I was like, wow, I, this is amazing and I can change lives with this and, and I can make some money. So, um, I would say two and a half years have been coaching and just like Melanie said, it has, I've grown so much personally in the last two and a half years that it's just blows me away. Like it almost brings me to tears because I, I'm not the same person I was when I started two and a half years ago. And I never in a million years thought I could continue to grow as much as I have um, over that short amount of time. So I am so thankful and so grateful for this opportunity. And um, it actually brought me full circle back to Melanie, who Melanie and I were childhood best friends 
We uh, met in the second grade and we were inseparable through elementary, high school, college, um, moved to Orlando together. And we kind of, um, our paths kind of went, went different directions and we lost touch there for several years. And it's funny because coaching has brought us back together. And that is such a beautiful thing to be a part of, to, to know that Beachbody had a part in us coming back together is pretty, it's pretty incredible. So, but um, all right, Melanie, sorry about that. I'll hand it back over to you. No, that was great. And I'm so glad that you suggested it. Because a lot of your girls I don't know because mm -hmm. you know when I started Devin and I ran groups together and then as we grew we got so big we had to separate which I was like ah. I know Mary <laughs> you feel me um, so this is awesome for me to kind of connect with all of you and get to know all of you and, and we'll definitely get to know each other in this group so does, does Mary want to introduce Mary do you want can you say something Okay, never mind. Sorry, Melanie. She's frozen. <laughs> She's thinking. <laughs> so, guys, if you don't know this about me, like I am a super hippie spirit junkie. Like I literally just taught a yoga class. I was driving home really fast to get home and be ready for this. So, so I mean, it is my love. It is my love to share my light and love with all of you. And so I encourage you to really dig into this practice that I'm going to teach you because it is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly powerful. Um, just really allow yourself to open up and um, dig into that belief system, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is, uh, I'm get my music going here, but I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and I, I'm gonna start with um, the power of three here. Um, so give me just a second, cause I'm gonna get my yoga music back. I'm gonna channel that. So go ahead and close your eyes. And if you guys can mute yourselves, cause I'm not sure how to mute everybody at the same time. Okay, and then if you need to say something, um, you'll just unmute yourself and then we can hear you, okay? Um, can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear the yoga music? Okay. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And just give yourself a moment to just be. Give your mind a moment to clear. And I want you to ask yourself this question. What is my intention for this next 40 minutes that we're on this call? want to get of this call and Shonda if you could just meet yourself honey and once you have that intention in your mind's eye just take a moment and send it out through the breath Allowing it to materialize. Mary, honey, can you mute yourself? Can you mute yourself? And then just allow this transition because I've got another question for you. Who needs me at my highest level for this call and this training? So that you can get the most out of it. And just go ahead and send that out into the universe.
and allow your mind to transition to this last thing. I want you to come up with three words that represent your intentions for your business, for your legacy that you are building. And if, if three aren't coming up to the surface, at least come up with one in the moment. Breathe life into those words. And exhale, releasing them out into the universe. And when you're ready, softly open your eyes. I want you to write down those three words. And after the call, I'm gonna ask you to set an alarm in your phone and every single day, you know, choose a time. Do you want to wake up to them? Do you want it at your lunch hour? Do you want it at the end of your day? And I want you to remind yourself, and I'll share mine. Mine are lead, light, love. So they can be abstract words. And I want you to dig into that. That's going to be your mantra. Own that. So make sure you, you choose them carefully. So think about the change in your energy right now. Think about the energy you had when we started it and think about your energy now. Imagine what would happen if every single time you sat down to share this opportunity with someone, took that time, you took those few minutes to make those connections. What is my intention reaching out? You know, maybe it's in your power hour and you want to do it like overall. What is my intention of reaching out to these people in this power hour? Um, what is my intention of reaching out to these potential coaches? Who needs me at my highest level? You know, when I do that question, I think about my family. I'm doing this for myself to leave a legacy. I'm doing this for my family. When you attach that to your family and your children, like, that's powerful. And then, you know, think about setting those intentions when I send those words of lead, love, and then I message someone. Energy doesn't lie, you guys. Like, you can put on a happy face, and we all do it. We wear the mask. Energy doesn't lie. So if you can dig into the power of that, you will watch things shift and transform, not only for your life, but the people you're going to help. And it's going to attract those people to you because they need someone like you from that strong, you know, uh, purposeful, driven, authentic self. And um, it's, it's just transformational so i really invite you to dig into that to dig into that truth so um i have a question for you i want you to think of your highest goal and this one i want you to write down your absolute like your highest goal like go there and write it down and and, and don't try to overthink it just boom let it come out your highest goal write it down what's your highest goal So take another minute on that. Okay, so finish that up. And then I have a question for you. So looking at, you know, that's your highest goal. If I told you that you had to wait 10 years you had to be patient. You had to work hard. You had to pour your heart and soul into this business to make that dream a reality. If I told you it was going to take you 10 years, would you be patient enough to wait 10 years? Yes. Okay, so write your answer, yes or no. So... Did any, well, I'm not going to call you out, but I want you to look at your answer and be honest with yourself. Like you're not going to get anything out of not being honest with yourself. If you wrote no, 
then your dream isn't big enough. Think about that. If you wrote down like, I'm not waiting 10 years from that. It's nothing. It's not that anything's wrong with what you wrote down. It just means that you're not dreaming big enough. Your dream needs to be so freaking big that if it takes you 10 years of intention and work and soul work and sharing and helping and, and growing that you're like, cool, 10 years. Yep. I can, I can do that for 10 years. So I want you to really think about that as you go through this process and in this group and as you change and transform, dare to dream bigger, give yourself permission to do that. Give yourself permission to go there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to transition you guys into um, a guided meditation that we're going to really like dig down deep, dig into that subconscious mind, dig into that motherboard. Cause like I said before, you know, you can say all day, like, Oh, I'm abundant. And you know, I get paid for being me and I'm leaving a legacy and I'm creating a tribe. But if you don't really believe it, like at your heart's core, then it doesn't matter what your conscious mind is saying. It's that subconscious that has to believe it. So I'm going to take you on a guided meditation to help you dig down deep into that. Okay. So are you guys willing to go with me on that journey? Okay, so um, let me make sure. And I, I forgot your name, uh, our driver. What's your name? Vicky. Vicky, okay. So Vicky, do not do this. <laughs> I will not be closing my eyes. <laughs> so listen to it, absorb it. It's gonna, it's gonna feed your soul. Um, All right. Girl, you're driving. You better look at the road. Okay. All right. So guys, we're going to go on this journey. And um, if you've never done anything like this before, it might feel, you know, kind of different. You might be like, am I doing this right? Like any kind of meditation, like if you're new, you're like, am I doing this right? And I'm telling you, you are doing it right. And it is going to work. And you know, the more you do something, the better you get at it. Um, some people you might cry and that's okay. Crying is cleansing. Or you might not cry. You don't have to cry in order for it to work. But I just want to kind of, you know, put you in that mindset and let you know it's okay. All right. So let's um, get to a comfortable position. If you want to sit on the floor in yoga, we call it Sukhasana. It's crisscross applesauce. You can. If you're more comfortable in a chair, you can. Uh, but I want you to think about this. Do you need to ground where, like, you're really good at your ideas? but you have trouble like bringing them into fruition. If that is you, you need to ground your palms need to be facing down on your lap or on your legs if you're sitting in Sukhasana. Are you a person, you need, you need help with inspiration, you need help with creativity, you need help with that kind of flow, then your palms need to be up um, as you're sitting in your meditation, okay? So go ahead and close the eyes. Take that deep breath. On the exhale, let it go. Really just give yourself permission to be led. Give yourself permission to go inside. Give yourself permission to rewire a belief system that is no longer serving you. And just take a moment and let that settle in give myself permission to rewire a belief system that no longer serves me. So take a deep breath. Exhale, releasing that old system that no longer serves you. So I want you to take a little trip down memory lane Now I want you to think about memory from childhood where you were unapologetically you. You were just yourself. You were that happy, vibrant, energetic, no holding back, wide open, the world is your playground self. Where you giggled and you ran and you just went for it in life and you spoke your truth and you were just yourself and you were light and you were happy and you were free, totally free. 
I want you to put yourself in that moment. I want you to envision it. Mary, can you mute yourself, please? Can you mute yourself, honey? And I want you to connect with that little girl. Look at her. Look at the fire in her eyes. Look at the openness in her power. Look at her mouth when she giggles and laughs and the intensity of her actions before the world wrote lies on the That is who you are. And maybe you dreamed of growing into a unicorn or an astronaut and it was entirely possible in your mind. Tap into that spirit. Stop, tap into that belief system that you can absolutely be and have anything you want. Easily. You just have to want it. You have to wish it. You have to believe it. I'm taking a moment, I want you to transition. I want you to transition into who you are right now in this very moment. And I want you to give your subconscious mind permission to let go of those lies that people wrote on you. Those lies that do not belong to you. They are not yours. They are not your belief system. And as you exhale, you feel them leaving your mind, leaving your heart, leaving your body. Bye, good night. Now I want you to transition to that you that is 10 years from now, that you that has accomplished that dream that you wrote down. There's a huge party and all of your friends and family are there and they are celebrating you because you did it. You did it. Look around and see who's there. Look around and see the joy in people's eyes as they're congratulating you. And look at that self that you are those 10 years down the line. What does she look like? What does her smile look like? What does her giggle sound like? What is her posture? Who is she talking to? Who is she hugging? Who is she thanking? She walks up in front of the room and addresses the crowd. What is she saying? How does that feel? To watch yourself graciously accept the celebration that is you.
And really dig into those feelings and how it feels to have really gone for it, to have accomplished that dream. And you begin to celebrate with music. And everybody just puts their arms around each other. And you just allow the music to take you away as you celebrate yourself. Because you shed those old belief systems. You let them go on that call with Devin and Melanie 10 years ago. And that was the start of it. You completely eliminated those self-limiting beliefs. And as they left, one by one, they allowed you to step into your authentic power. That you can absolutely create any life you choose. This life is a gift. This opportunity is your gift. It is your moment. It is your blessing. It is that thing that you've been praying for your entire life. You didn't even know what it was. And it came. And you began. And you gave yourself permission to rise up. Above all that pain, above all that heartache, above all those lies that those people wrote on you, as you forgave them and you moved on and you replaced them with the truth that you are enough, that you are the creator of your life, and you can absolutely have anything and everything you want in this life. You just allowed your body to sway with the music because you felt that celebration swell up inside you and you just released it out to everyone there. Thanking everyone for being a part of your journey and looking around and seeing your tribe there and celebrating their moments. Because you did it together. Take one more big deep breath, sealing in all of that energy. And exhale, releasing it out into the universe. And when you're ready, softly opening the eyes, allowing yourself to come back to this space in this moment and digging into that truth that today, right now, this breath, this moment was the very first step in that journey that you got to see yourself in, that celebration of your life, that celebration of your legacy. And it started today, right now. So I just want to close with a namaste. And a quote by Marianne Williamson that I want to leave you with. And I'm probably not going to say it exactly right, but I'll give you the gist of it. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. It does not serve us or anyone else to dull our shine. And as we give ourselves permission to shine and we share that light, we unconsciously give permission for others to do the same. Light and love for me to you. Welcome to it. Oh my gosh, Melanie. That was so amazing. 
Um, I've never done anything like that before. That was my first meditation. And I was a little like, what is this going to be about? What am I, you know? And now I'm just like, Melanie, that was amazing. I just, wow. You have a gift. You have a gift. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, I don't know. I think it was Mary's that kept cracking about all that. I'm <laughs> no. Oh my guys, gosh. That was amazing. And one of the reasons why, you know, Melanie is definitely the yin to my yang. She brings the like, you know, spiritual, like hippie, hippie vibe. And I don't know what I bring. I guess I just bring the like, country vibe i don't know like whatever but <laughs> any the fun. But i guess um so the reason we wanted to focus on belief tonight is because as a coach we are all given the same tools you can youtube what until you know you can watch youtube videos you can go through the coach basics you can learn everything you want to know about this business and i'll tell you what Every single coach does the exact same thing, exact same thing. It is not a, um, there's not a secret to being successful in this business. It is, you do these things every single day and you will be successful. It, it's proven. That's just what it is. The thing that holds, the thing that separates the coaches who make it to the top and are successful um, from the ones who quit or give up is belief. So we want to, we want you to believe that you can do this because we believe that we can do this. And we know if we can do this, we're not special. We are, we, we feel like we have to share this with you. We want to see you succeed. I think throughout my coaching journey, um, I've made so many mistakes. I didn't have really someone, I didn't really have, a, I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have the support. I don't want to see you guys. I, I want to see you on that stage one day, right beside me. I want you to be right there. I want this for you just as bad as I hope you want it for yourself. So Believing in yourself is the first step. And um, wow, I seriously, Melanie, that brought tears to my eyes, you know, and it is, it, it holds us back from so many things in life. If you look at your life, how many things did you not do or not try or because you were scared and you were, you had, you let fear take over and because you didn't believe that you could do it. We're telling you, you can do this. And what you can get out of this mentorship training that we're going to have with you, and I'm not sure how long it's going to run or how, um, but you can definitely believe that we are going to instill that belief in you and give you everything you need to feel confident to succeed. And um, it's taken Melanie and I a little while to figure it out ourselves. Like I said, we're not perfect. We've made lots of mistakes, but I feel like we are at a point as coaches where it just clicked with us and it is an amazing feeling it really is and I, I just hope that I hope that you feel our our love for what we do and the positivity and just we just our belief in what this is so um, I want to also share a quote with you guys and I know it's already 9 15 but believe in yourself so strongly that the world has um, you know, the world cannot believe in you too, right? Believe in yourself so strongly. And um, so I'm going to do a few exercises with you guys tonight really quick because it really comes down to, like I was telling you, those, those things that you're going to learn over this, over this, over time that you need to do every single day to be successful. But the reason why we put a lot of emphasis on diamond, and this is the rise and shine group, and you are we are building you to diamond and believe in that build and believe in yourself that you can build this team and you can be a diamond coach is because we're diamond in this business is the starting point. Um, that is when things start clicking. That is when you have a team, you start, you're, you've kind of 
built a foundation. You're more confident in your abilities as a coach. That's when you become a leader. And um, you're probably asking yourself, well, what the heck is Diamond? How do I get there? Um, and I'm going to show you. So, um, so I'm going to show you this little diagram right here. So this is you and your business, okay? Can you guys see this? This is you. And in this business, you have two legs. You have a left leg and a right leg, or a strong leg and a weak leg. And we'll go through all of that. I know it's confusing. I'm not trying to throw a lot at you right now. And if you're feeling overwhelmed already, it's totally normal. So I'm just, I'm just showing this diagram so that it makes sense when I'm talking to you about building your team. Um, so this is you. In order to be diamond, you have to have four active coaches in your right leg, four active coaches in your left leg. So you have to have eight active coaches to become a diamond coach. And of those eight coaches down here, one in each leg has to be an emerald coach. And an emerald coach means that they have two active coaches each. So that's just emerald and diamond in a nutshell. And I know we are going to go in depth with this. Trust me. You're going to learn more about this in Coach Basics. This is just a, um, an overview. So you need eight coaches. To be a diamond coach, you need eight, right? Um, which really means you want to have like 10 coaches because you want to have a solid diamond. You want to really be a solid diamond. So what can you do to kind of get that ball rolling to, um, to get building? You want to jump in right away building, okay? Um, being a coach is awesome and helping people with challenge packs and making that commission, you know, on a challenge pack is great. Don't make the mistake that I did and do that for two years and not grow a bit, grow a foundation, a big team so that you're not making, you know, the income that you want to make because where you make your money in Beachbody, I'm just going to be real <laughs> with you is building your team, solid coaches, and the way that you can do that in a really easy exercise that I'm going to ask you guys to do right now is to just take out a piece of paper, a notebook, and I want you to write dream team at the top of it, okay? And then I want you to write 10, 1 through 10. And I want you right now, and I, I want you to think about the people in your life right now that could do this with you. You want, you want, you know, your close friends, you want your best friend, you want your sisters, you want your aunt that you have a great relationship with, you want your neighbor, you want to share this opportunity with passion with these people because they love you and they trust you. And, you know, if you come, you know, if you're talking to them about this opportunity with the same belief that we have and that we want you to have that this is something that can change my life and this can change yours too. And I want you to be right by my side through this journey. We can do this together. We can build something substantial. We can change the lives of our families together. We can do this. Just trust me. This is what I need you to do. I need, you know, I, I, I need a coach. I need two coaches and I want you to be my first one. And if you just get to that point and then if you're stumbling and you're not sure what the next steps are, reach out to your coach or reach out to myself, Melanie, whoever, and we will walk you through exactly how to get them signed up. But, you know, channel that, that passion and that what Melanie was saying that this belief and this dream that you can have, and it's right there. Um, make sure that, you know, you write your 10 people down and you contact them immediately and say, this is, this is what I want to do. I really believe in this. I mean, I know it sounds crazy to you, but I think this is something that something just tells me that this is something that could be something, you know, and meet with them for coffee, um, you know, zoom call with them, you know, whatever it takes. If you want to start building quickly, 
this is a good technique to do. Create your dream team list, 10 people of who you want on trips with you. Who, the, who do you want to celebrate with? Who do you want to, you know, to be by your side? And who do you, whose life do you want to change by sharing this amazing opportunity with them? Like, hello, you know, I, I could just like strangle my sisters right now because I'm like, what are you doing? Like, this is so amazing. So, but you know, I didn't, when I first started, I didn't come to them with the same passion and the same belief that I have now. And I want you guys to start on the right foot. I want you to talk to them and, um, and share what you know with them and ask them to be a part of your team. Ask them, will you be a part of my team? I know this sounds crazy, but I believe this can be something. Do it with me. And that's a good start. That's how you can start building very quickly. Um, so I hope that wasn't overwhelming, but like, you know, like I said, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. If you want to make a substantial income, you need to build and you need to build fast. And that is just the facts. Don't wait two years, two and a half years and slowly build a team, a coach here and a coach there. Go after what you want. If you want this, take action now, like now, don't wait. So um, I'm going to post this. I'm going to post a picture of this. I'll post it in our team page. And when you fill out your dream team list, I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to post it on the page. And my name better be at the top. No, I'm joking. You can't put me on your team. I kind of am already, well, I am already on your team. So, um, so is that helpful, everybody? Is that helpful? Yeah. Okay. Good. Hey, Devin, I have a question. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Um. So, as you acquire these coaches on your mm -hmm. um, your team, mm -hmm. is there a position or a point where they could fall off? Like, can they? Is there something they they would do or not do that would potentially take them off of your yeah. right leg, left leg? Yes. Good question. So, in order to be an active coach. You have to have these people in your legs, those eight coaches have to be active. And in order to be active, you have to have 50 PV, um, personal volume points, each coach does. And what we always say is get, their, get your Shakeology on Home Direct. That's 90 PV. That's going to cover, you know, that's on Home Direct every month. So you don't have to worry about becoming inactive. Um, okay. That's a great, and plus, Shakeology is amazing and everybody needs it in their life anyways. So that's kind of what we always say. Like if you want to, you know, you're going to be a product of the product and you're going to be a coach and you want to live healthier, then that's the easiest way to do it. So all those coaches have to be active for you um, to get a rank advancement to diamonds. So, um, and you want to continue to build when you get four in each leg, um, you want to always continue to build because there, there will be lots of coaches that drop. I mean, this is a business of, you know, people come and people go all the time. You just have to stay steady and continue to build. So good question. Very good question. Um, okay. So is, are there any other questions? I know I kind of threw that at you guys, but I'm just being real with you. If this is something that you want, if you want financial freedom, if you want to grow, these are the steps you need to take. And it is taking massive action quickly in the beginning to just get the momentum that you need to get to build your team and then share it all that with your team and get the momentum going with them. So um, I know we're almost at 930, so I'm gonna leave you guys um, with some homework. Hey guys, everybody still here? Okay, awesome. Um, okay, so homework for, I would say tomorrow or Friday. Try to get this done before Friday. Um, I want you to create a one minute video stating that you believe. You believe in yourself, you believe in this business, you believe in the product and you believe in this mission that we have on this team and um, make a video. It's gonna, you're, it's gonna take you guys stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit to do a live video, but that is the biggest 
part of this whole journey. It's the internal growth that happens when you step into those fears. So make a video and show your personality and get excited about it. I want to see you guys with conviction saying, I believe. I want to see some like, you know, whatever. I believe, I believe in this. I believe that this is what is meant to happen for me in my life. I believe in what these products have done for me because I am living proof that it can make me, it can make me, if it made me healthier, it can make others healthier. Believe in the business model. Believe that this is, you know, this, this company is, has integrity and that it is doing so much good in the world for people. I mean, believe it, really believe. And I want to do you, I want to see you guys do a video and just share your belief because I don't think we say that enough to ourselves. Like, I believe in myself. Like, I believe I can do this. I believe I can be a, you know, two-star diamond coach. I believe I can retire my husband because that's my why. I want to retire my husband so he doesn't have to work so hard to provide for a family. I believe I can do that. And I do believe I can do that. And so I want to hear what you guys believe. I want to hear your beliefs. Um, and I want you to take that video and share it on the page as well. That's your homework. So, um, Devin, I have a question. Yeah. So are we supposed to do this as a live Facebook feed on our Facebook page? No, also? no. Do it. <laughs> yes, Trisha. <laughs> no, um, do just do like a video, like a, a recording and just post it in our rise and shine page. Um, okay, good. Yeah. Get used to doing videos guys. Cause I tell you what we share a lot. And one of the things that you have to get comfortable with too, right away is sharing, uh, being, you know, unapolog unapologetically you, you know, sharing what you're eating. I know a lot of you already do that today, sharing your workout, sharing what you're eating, sharing your lifestyle, sharing your journey um, with others so that when you message them about being a coach or you message them about, hey, join my challenge group, don't think they're not going to your page, your Facebook page, and trying to figure out, wait, is this girl for real, or is she going to, like, what is she, what's she about? I don't see anything on her page about health and fitness, you know, so make sure that, you know, you're sharing your journey, and, you know, and, and you're being you, and you, with this new, with this belief that you have within yourself, you know, and just go, just go for it, you know, and, um, yeah, so anyways, that's it. I, I know it's almost 930. Does anybody have any questions? Anyone? Um, if you're not in Coach Basics right now, um, raise your hand if you have not gone through Coach Basics. Okay, Vicki, Amber. Okay. I'm going to get you guys in Coach Basics right away. I know, yeah. Trisha, you pretty much, you you went pretty far. I did about a week. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you need to do it again, too. <laughs> what did you say, uh, Amber? Was it Amber? Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, yeah, I was planning on jumping in. I was going to try and jump in. You said it started on the second, but... Yeah, you want to? It's really just, yeah, yeah. it's like 10 minutes a day. It's really yeah. just watching some inform informative video and then just kind of um, posting your, your takeaway and things like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, please. All right, right, guys. Okay, I'm going to add Amber and Vicki and Trish. Trisha, high school. <laughs> Trisha, if this makes you feel any better, I failed Coach Basics three times. Okay, I was a three three time flunk out, so it's not I have two more to go then. <laughs> yeah, well, you have two more chances, but you, I have a feeling you're gonna you're gonna do great, right? This next time, yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. All right, guys. So, um, so the goal is to um to focus on building your teams. And we actually have a script that I'll post to the page as well that you can send people that says, hey, you know, I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a health and fitness coach and I just kind of started my journey. And I was just wondering if 
I sent you a video to watch. Would you take a look at it? I think it's an amazing opportunity, um, you know, and get back with me. And I'll share that script with you. Um, and you guys can kind of take that and start sharing it if you want to. Um, What's the video? Um, I was thinking, Melanie, what do you think about doing the um, the I Am Team Beachbody video? Just sharing that first. And then when they get kind of a feel of what we are as Team Beachbody, then we can plug them into our coffee and cocktails. Yeah. Is that the one that you said is the new one with the music and stuff? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty awesome. Okay. And I think that's a good uh, bridge between like making the connection and then let them see that kind of pique their interest and then get them in to see us in the, the cocktails group. And that's a beautiful tool that you guys have right at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. You can plug them in every two weeks. We've either, either got a coffee or a cocktails where they get to actually like hear our stories and see our faces and mm -hmm. listen to our voices. And yeah. yeah, I feel like we need to make that a little bit shorter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like an hour and a half last week. <laughs> yeah. I know. We talked about that too. It was like, I kind of rambled on for like 30 minutes about my story, even though I like him and my story. Not everybody no, wants. It's beautiful. I just, yeah, I think it's hard for people, especially like if somebody misses it, then it's like, well, um, watch this and then that and then that. I don't know. It just, mm. sorry, just keep Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah. I mean, it was like awesome content. I just, it's really hard for people to commit that much time to something. That's yeah. true. Agree. Yeah. yeah. I want to say too that um, maybe with the coffee, I don't know, making it earlier because a lot of people work. Oh yeah. So at 10 o'clock. I mean, I know I'm working. I know mm -hmm. I was going to try to get on it, but I couldn't. So most of my friends are working during that time. So. I wonder like seven, because people are probably commuting to work maybe around seven-ish. They mm -hmm. could just, yeah. We could try it. Thought. Yeah, it's a good idea. A good idea. So I can invite people to yeah. <laughs> make it. Mm -hmm. But they can make it to the night one. So maybe having more of those. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good idea. We Hey, you know what? This is we want constant feedback because you know <laughs> that's the only way we get better right is and we just started this we just started doing the coffee talks what maybe a month ago melanie yeah and honestly do you want to know who our first new coach was because the coffee talk shonda, shonda. awesome Yay. all right well does anyone else have any questions or anything to add um, I just wanted to clarify. So mm -hmm. we need to post our dream team on the page. Is that correct? Yes. Our 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Post your 10 and, um, and your videos video. before Friday. Okay. And, you know, constantly check in. I know there are a lot of groups happening right now. Don't get overwhelmed. Um, lots of groups happening, but really try to focus on your challenge group and your people. And then also, in this group because we're going to be posting content, you know, every other day or so just to kind of add value. So, um, so keep checking into the page and, um, thank you. Namaste. 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 <laughs> awesome guys. So, um, Melanie, do you want to add anything? No, no. no. Thank you for being here and, and showing yourself. I mean, it's not about me. It's not about Devin. This is about you. Like, thank you for making the time and showing up and being here and doing the work because that's what's going to propel your business is showing up and doing the work. So, so thank you for doing that for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Nice. Nice. And make it happen, ladies. Bedtime. All right. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Good night.